competition or success. Visit us online at mtmercy.edu to learn more. Mount Mercy University is higher learning on a personal scale because the Mount Mercy experience is decidedly focused on our students, people just like you. Our bachelor's and master's degree programs meet your needs, on campus, online, day or night. And education from Iowa's top private college is more than a degree. It's the foundation for your success.
Visit us online at mtmercy.edu to learn more. Everybody, when we're done, the stand rack.
everyone. I am Dr. Jan Handler, Mount Mercy University Provost, and I welcome you to Commencement 2018. Please remain standing for the invocation and national anthem. Father Tony Adao will provide the invocation. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bless the Lord my soul, all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord my soul, and do not forget all his gifts. Our faithful God, we turn to you with praise and thanksgiving in our hearts. From the beginning of the academic year even until now, your hand has been upon us. You have walked among us and renewed our strength. We have encountered you in one another, in works of mercy great and small, in service to communities far and near, in our worship of you, and in our prayers for one another. In all these encounters, your mercy has been our hope, your light, our guide, and your love, our life. We bless you most especially for our graduating students. Years of learning and searching, challenging times and exciting moments, you have blessed them all with success. Great have you been in times when our students, staff, and faculty have faced difficulties. In the midst of all these moments, your joy remains a gift to us. Yes, Lord, this is your way. Your word tells us that those who go out sowing in tears will return rejoicing. This is what you have done for our graduating students. This is what you have done for their families and friends, and indeed for us as a Mount Mercy family. For these and many more, we thank you. Bless this commencement with the presence of your Holy Spirit, and may our hearts rejoice in your saving care, now and always. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mount Mercy is a Catholic Mercy University built on the foundation of the Sisters of Mercy since its founding 90 years ago. Mount Mercy has never lost sight of its core mission to provide career launching, life affirming education in service of the common good, always emphasizing academic excellence and compassionate service. 
with an expanding undergraduate curriculum, in-demand graduate programs, award-winning online programs, and the region's most successful accelerated undergraduate program, a bright future lies ahead for the students who attend Mount Mercy University. The nearly 2,000 men and women who make up our student body come from all over Iowa, the nation, and the world. They choose Mount Mercy for big school opportunities in a small school package. Challenging and personal faculty interaction, vibrant student life, and commitment to research, leadership, and service. Mount Mercy alumni are the backbone of their communities. Business professionals, nurses, doctors, teachers, social workers, civic leaders. They are living proof of the merits of a superb Mount Mercy education. Commencement is a wonderful time to celebrate the many accomplishments of our undergraduate and graduate students, to celebrate our extraordinary history and Mount Mercy's exciting future. I welcome you all to the 88th commencement ceremony at Mount Mercy University. And now, please help me welcome our president, Lori Heyman, who will preside over the ceremony today. Good afternoon, and welcome to commencement 2018. I'm so pleased that all of you could be here today to share this day with our amazingly talented graduates. During our commencement exercises today, 382 students have completed the requirements for a bachelor's degree, including 60 graduates from our online program. We celebrate with 172 students who have completed requirements for master's degrees, who received their master's hoods at a ceremony on Friday evening. This year's graduating class represents the very best of Mount Mercy University, majoring in liberal arts fields and in practical programs. Today, we celebrate the many accomplishments of our graduates as they achieve this important milestone in their lives. Graduates, our faculty and staff have challenged you, supported you through this important journey, and you have risen to the occasion. The knowledge and skills that you have learned during your time here are invaluable, and the confidence you have gained through your hard work will take you far. We take great pride in your many academic accomplishments in and in the outstanding individuals that you have become. But no achievement is ever done alone. As you celebrate this great accomplishment, remember the people who have helped you along the way. Remember the Mount Mercy value of gratefulness and thank them for their support and perhaps even for their challenge during your time here. Mount Mercy University is led by a group of individuals for whom we are extraordinarily thankful. The university is governed by a 28-member board of trustees, which includes representatives of many professions, alumni of the university from across the nation, and members of the Cedar Rapids and surrounding communities. They serve voluntarily, and through their immense influence and personal generosity, provide considerable support and goodwill for Mount Mercy. And a number of our trustees are celebrating with us today. They join me in welcoming all of you to commencement. I would like to introduce those members who are present with us today. And I will ask each trustee to please stand when your name is called and remain standing and that applause is held until all have been introduced. Mr. Tom Barbie, Ms. Barbara Barhaman, class of 1977, vice chair of the board, Ms. Terry Christofferson, Mr. Jim Nacrant, Sister Mary Lou Podsmick, class of 1966, Sister Kathy Thornton, class of 1966, Sister Margaret Weigel, class of 1966, Dr. Ruth White, and Chairman of the Board, Mr. Brant Worley. These trustees will be congratulating each graduate and shaking their hands as they walk across the stage today. Please join me in thanking them. I would also like to introduce the remainder of the platform party. Would you please stand when your name is called and remain standing, and let's all hold our applause until all have been introduced. Sister Linda Beshin, class of 1974, Vice President for Mission and Ministry. 
Dr. Terry Crumley, Vice President for Enrollment and Marketing, Mr. Larry Elkins, Interim Vice President for Business and Finance, Ms. Brenda Hafner, Class of 1996, Vice President for Development and Alumni Relations, Dr. Jan Handler, Provost, Dr. Nate Klein, Class of 2007, Vice President for Student Success, Ms. Peg Bruns Detweiler, Class of 1992, who is the President of the Alumni Association, Mr. Chance McWorthy, University Registrar, Father Tony Adawu, Chaplain, Mount Mercy University, Dr. Neil Bernstein, Professor of Biology, Dr. John Robeson, Professor of Business, and Mr. Ricardo Etienne, Class of 2018, and your student speaker. Thank you all for your great contributions to Mount Mercy. <laughs> Commencement is a time to celebrate the high point of our students' journey to this moment. Included in this year's senior class are our very first Catherine McCauley Scholars, a very remarkable group of students. And from our master's program, our first ever fully online graduate students. Each and every one of you have com contributed to Mount Mercy's wonderful community. Students, you were here when we announced Jerry and Audrey Olson's gift to endow our first ever chair in marriage and family therapy cheered us on as we announced our first doctoral programs in nursing and marriage and family therapy. We're proud to say that these programs are the first at Mount Mercy and also for Cedar Rapids. You helped us welcome Father Tony and celebrated our first ever rectory thanks, thanks to the Worley and the Condon families. Academically, you were part of our annual fall faculty series from the very first conversations we had and participated in our most recent uh, series, Divided We Fall. You witnessed the addition of community responsive programs, including an online MBA and a master's in criminal justice, and our growing music program that now includes jazz band and pep and concert band and show choir. You participated in scholarship festival, wrote articles for professional journals with your faculty, and even presented your research along with your mentors. You met with incredible authors and heard challenging campus speakers. You watched as the new Robert W. Plaster Athletic Complex was built from the ground up and helped us celebrate alongside alumni and friends with a truly grand opening this fall. You helped us earn another spot in Money Magazine's rankings this year as the top college in Iowa based on educational quality, affordability, and alumni success. And you saw our Enactus team do amazing work, earning a top four spot in nationals last year. The Enactus team will compete again in nationals this year. In fact, they nearly have to run out of the auditorium in their caps and gowns this afternoon to make it to Kansas City tonight to represent Mount Mercy at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning in Enactus Nationals. Alongside our faculty and staff, you volunteered 17,000 hours of community service this past year. You kept basil beans and graduate grounds very busy and attended Club Fridays spent time in our newly renovated chemistry labs and the Macaulay penthouse with the best view in town. You worked harder than you thought you ever could and made friends for life on our hill. But just as you've enjoyed celebrating as a campus community, we also come together to comfort one another during difficult moments. Together we mourned the loss of our recent alumna, Gen Jennifer Koenigheim, who was a 2012 grad of our public relations program. Coming together during a time of need is one of Mount Mercy's greatest strengths. And to that end, may we please have a moment of silence for Jennifer and her family members who are here with us in spirit today. Thank you. Students, you are about to start a new and exciting chapter. You are off to masters and doctoral programs in political science, horticulture, veterinary medicine and business administration, just to name a few all across the country. You have landed impressive jobs at outstanding local and national businesses, including Van Meter, Rockwell Collins, Transamerica, CRST International, Raining Rose, Walt Disney World, and the Boeing Company. You'll soon be serving as valuable teachers at Western Dubuque, Benton Community, and Cedar Rapids School Districts. You'll be healthcare providers at the Mayo Clinic, the University of Iowa, Mercy Medical Center, and Unity Point St. Luke's, among many others. 
and we have a student for the first time going off to United Lutheran Seminary in Philadelphia. Many of you with your newly minted degrees will be receiving promotions and raises in your workplaces where you've worked at during the time that you've been a student at Mount Mercy. Commencement is always a bittersweet moment for me and for your faculty and staff mentors, making your departure, marking your departure from our campus. It is a very special moment to see the bright, talented, dedicated men and women that we've watched learn and compete, perform and present, and with whom we've shared many special meals and special occasions, culminate years of hard work with their Mount Mercy degrees. Best wishes to you all, and thank you for the many incredible memories. And now it is my very great pleasure to introduce one of Mount Mercy's most outstanding students. Our commencement speaker today, representing the class of 2018, Mr. Ricardo Etienne. Ricardo is a native of Cap Haitian, Haiti. He is an accomplished and engaged student, graduating with a Bachelor of Business Administration in Management degree with a minor in Accounting. In fact, he was awarded the Outstanding Management Student Award at Friday night's Honors Convocation. A transfer student from Kirkwood Community College, Ricardo continued with notable success at Mount Mercy. He represented the university at the 2017 National Conference on Student Leadership, was awarded a full scholarship to attend the 2017 Bill Clinton International Global Leadership Conference, is an active member of Mount Mercy's National Society of Leadership and Success Chapter Sigma Pi, and is a member of the International and Spanish Clubs. Ricardo is also a student athlete on the soccer and track and field teams. Outside of Mount Mercy, Ricardo's passion is to better the world, and it can be seen in two not-for-profit organizations that he has established. He is the co-founder and CEO of Volition and Action for Haiti, a nonprofit that teaches spiritual growth, encourages educational experiences, and promotes social, economic, and cultural development to Haiti's children and young adults. He also founded a local food system nonprofit organization to educate farmers about economically sustainable agricultural resources. Please help me welcome Mr. Ricardo Etienne. Thank you, President Lowry. Good afternoon, family, friends, faculty, and of course, good afternoon, fellow graduate. My name is Ricardo Etienne, and I'm a Mount Mercy University International student from Haiti. I feel pride and courageous enough to share my experiences with you all. Today, graduates, Attended families, faculty, staff, friends, I am grateful, humble, and honored for the opportunity to celebrate this magnificent day with you, one that will forever resonate in each of us. This is one of the major milestones of our lives. One of my favorite verses in the Bible is Matthew 28, verses 19 to 20. It says, go out, make disciples, baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This verse applies to all of us as well. We are proud to be mustang. Therefore, we are well prepared to go out in this world to be the best we can ever be and be the change and a blessing in whatever we do. Today, I would like to share with you three major principles I live by every day. And I hope, I hope that you will be inspired and encouraged to apply them in your own life as well. The very first principle I want to share with you today is to smile and be optimistic. To smile and be optimistic. Whatever the circumstances and feeling you have, they will affect you tomorrow Worry attracts more worry, and happiness attracts more unhappiness. But a positive attitude is attractive and will help you see what is possible. I'm from Haiti, a beautiful island located 700 miles away from Miami, Florida. In Haiti, 
50% of children will never, never go to school. Only 5% of students there ever make it to college. Growing up, I had the choice to be one of the 95% or to be among the 5%. Since a young age, I've seen my single mom struggle to feed 11 of us. In 2010, I survived a terrible earthquake in Haiti, which destroyed everything and killed more than 25 of my best friends. Therefore, I had many choices in life to be unhappy or to give up. I had many solid arguments to make excuses or to blame God or family or friends. But instead of complaining, I look and continue looking for the good in every situation. Today, I want you to know, no matter where you are, no matter how difficult things might appear to be, allow your circumstances move you toward magnificence. The second principle I want to share with you today is be thankful. Be thankful to God and those who have contributed to your success. None of us have made it here on our own. None of us. When I was 10 years old, my mom taught me a life-changing advice that has stayed with me ever since. She said to me, son, to change your life quickly, Use gratitude to shift your energy. When you put all of your energy into gratitude, you will see miracles take place in your life. She said to me, son, commit yourself to write down a list of at least 50 things you are truly grateful for. Show the deepest appreciation, praise, and genuine esteem for this gift given to you and see the change. But most of all, feel grateful. One of my favorite classes here at Mount Mercy was business seminar with uh, Ned Klein. The first week in class, one of our assignments was to write a thank you letter to someone who has contributed to our success. Call that person over the phone and tell them how much you are thankful for her or his contribution to your life. This thank you phone call was the most amazing sharing experience I've ever had in my entire life. The call brought joy to the person I was speaking with and showed me how important it is to recognize others in the contribution to my success. Graduate, I challenge you today to do the same. When you get home, pick up the phone and make at least one phone call to take someone who has played an important role in your life. The third and final principle I want to share with you today is to give back to the community. Give back to the community. You don't have to be rich to give back to your community. I, myself, struggled financially for many years. However, this does not stop me from being generous to people. Four years ago, I founded my own nonprofit called Volition and Action for Haiti, which mission to empowering children through education and the love of Christ. We started only with five kids and need in Haiti. And now we are serving 150 children on a daily basis. We took them off the street, we feed them, we send them to school, and we mentor them. Therefore, you can volunteer some of your time to charitable organization as well. You can donate money if you have any. You can create a campaign, help to create law and regulation in favor of the less fortunate. You can be a philanthropist. You can do something as simple as smiling to someone, <laughs> smiling to someone, or tell, tell him or her something amazing you see in them. Whatever you do, and wherever life might lead you, please, please, always, always remember to give back. The graduate, here is my challenges to you all. From now on, how are you willing to smile and stay optimistic no matter the circumstances? How are you going to be grateful to God and those who have contributed to your success? Are you willing to impact and give back to the community you live in? If you are willing to apply all these principles, 
you will be able to cha change many lives and change the world. Each of you are unique and magnificent human beings. Of, of, of all the billion of people on earth, there is not another you. And your very existence is vital to the functioning of this world because you are one part of the whole world. Therefore, let's be the change we want to see in the world. Thank you for allowing me to share with you today. And may God, God bless you and your new life direction. Thank you very much. Congratulations, graduate. Just before the ceremony, uh, Ricky had an opportunity to talk to our trustees, and when they asked him what he'd like to do, he said, I'd like to be the president of Haiti. We'll look forward to that. <laughs> yes. Thank you for your inspiring words, Ricky. Many of our graduating seniors received recognition at our honors convocation on Friday for achievements of academic excellence and outstanding service. We congratulate all the students who earned departmental and all college honors, some of which are symbolized by the cords that they are privileged to wear today at commencement. If you received honors on Friday, would you please stand right now, students, to be recognized? Congratulations. Our top student honors are reserved for today's program, and they are awarded to graduates earning a bachelor's degree and are a wonderful commencement surprise to those who receive them. The honorees are chosen by a vote of our faculty and staff, and these awards were named for two Sisters of Mercy, honor students who have earned the highest levels of academic achievement, leadership, and contribution to Mount Mercy University. The Sisters of Mercy were founded as a religious community in Ireland dedicated to education, health care, and social work. These Sisters of Mercy eventually immigrated to America and established Mount Mercy in the early 1900s as a part of their mission to educate young women. The Mary Frances Ward Award is so named for the woman who founded the Sisters of Mercy in America in 1843, bringing the Sisters of Mercy from Carlow, Ireland to the United States with courage and faithfulness and for whose leadership we have named both Ward Hall on campus and this award. The Mary Frances Ward Award is the highest award conferred each year upon the graduate who transferred to Mount Mercy University and who, in addition to academic excellence, has exemplified leadership, service, and integrity in his or her professional relationships and loyalty in furthering the ideals of the university. And it is my privilege today to present the Mary Frances Ward Award to Jordan Lehman. Jordan, would you please join me on stage today? Jordan is a native of Iowa City and is graduating today with degrees in chemistry, biology, and outdoor conservation. Jordan made her way to Mount Mercy as a transfer student and flourished as an impactful, thoughtful leader. She was a student ambassador, an orientation leader, and held important roles on the women's basketball team as both player and student coach. In her work with the Academic Center for Excellence, also known as ACE, Jordan had an impact on countless students as peer tutor and took her leadership role even further as a peer academic coach and a Project Connect mentor. She shared her experiences as a transfer student and, stu by, and student athlete by teaching the, the strategies and skills she used in her own transition to Mount Mercy. Through her guidance and support and understanding of the needs of her peers, Jordan was instrumental in the academic and personal success of other students and in the persistence of those students to graduation. Jordan's triple major in chemistry, biology, and outdoor conservation and her research with advisor Joan Wynn titled To Wine or Not to Wine at Scholarship Festival early this month led her to graduate studies in the fall in horticulture at the University of Minnesota. 
Jordan truly embodies the vision of Mount Mercy academic excellence and compassionate service, and I'm pleased to present her with the Mary Frances Ward Award. Congratulations, Jordan. The second award today is the Catherine McCauley Award, so named for the woman who founded the Sisters of Mercy in Ireland in 1831. It is the highest award conferred each year upon the graduate who began their university career at Mount Mercy as a freshman, and who in addition to excellence in academics has in exemplified in his or her four years at the university, leadership, service, integrity, and loyalty in furthering the ideals of Mount Mercy. And it is my privilege to present the 2018 Catherine McCauley Award to Kennedy de Vilbus. Kennedy, would you join me on stage, please? <laughs> Kennedy is a native of Ocean, Iowa, and is graduating today with a degree in nursing and a minor in psychology. Kennedy's incredible leadership ability, her interpersonal skills, her unmatched dependability, and her ability to master multiple priorities makes her a most worthy recipient of this award. In her time at Mount Mercy, Kennedy has been committed to developing the skills that would carry her to success and has held multiple leadership roles across campus. She is a student athlete on the cross country team, a student ambassador in the admission office, and is active in campus ministry. She is a member of the Mount Mercy University Association of Student Nurses and the co-author of a 2017 nursing resolution, which she co-presented at the 2017 Iowa Association of Nursing Students Convention and at the 2018 National Student Nursing Association Convention. Off campus, Kennedy dedicated her time as a weekly volunteer for Young Parents Network, supporting thousands of young families in our community. She works as a respite caregiver and a certified nursing assistant and recently finished an internship at Mayo Clinic's neurosurgery department in Rochester, Minnesota. Kennedy also completed her nursing preceptorship at Mercy Medical Center here in Cedar Rapids. Even with all of her academic leadership and athletic commitments, amazingly, Kennedy has never once missed a single day of work. How many of us could say that? I think that's amazing. It's clear that Kennedy truly embodies the vision of Mount Mercy academic excellence, compassion, service, and diligence. And I am pleased to present her with the Mary Catherine McCauley Award. After graduation, Kennedy will be working at Regents Hospital in St. Paul, Minnesota, and the MMU spirit will be traveling with her there. Congratulations, Kennedy, we're very proud of you. We now have the opportunity to honor faculty members whose combined service to the university totals over 83 years of incredible work at Mount Mercy. And at this time, I'd like to call on Dr. Jan Handler, provost, to publicly recognize these extraordinary faculty members. Thank you, Lori. Neil Bernstein, would you please join me at the podium? During Neil Bernstein's tenure as professor of biology, he inspired students to learn more about the environment and care for the earth. He developed the outdoor conservation major, and his teaching experience extends to other areas in the curriculum, including portal, capstone, and honors courses. Neil has had an especially successful career as a scholar. Since 2000, he has received over 25 research grants to study amphibians, reptiles, and small mammals, and to survey public lands, leading to publishing more than 18 journal articles. Neil's current research interests include growth rates, habitation, and home range of the ornate box turtle, as well as sand dune succession following the removal of conifer plantation. Neil has held many leadership roles at Mount Mercy, including Associate Academic Dean, Division Chair, and Department Chair, 
where he mentored and encouraged many faculty throughout the years. He has also chaired and served on numerous committees during his tenure at Mount Mercy. Neil's service to the profession is extensive as an editor of various journals and member of many organizations and professional societies. Most notable is his involvement in the Iowa Academy of Science, where he has served as section chair, editor of the journal, academy president, and on the board of directors. Recognized for his dedication to service, Neil earned Mount Mercy's Outstanding Service Award and the Iowa Academy of Science Distinguished Fellow Award. While Neil will be missed by students and colleagues, he will continue his passion for teaching others about the environment at field stations and will publish a children's book on sand prairie ecology that he has co-authored with a late colleague, Dr. Barb Bob Black. President Heyman, it is my distinct pleasure to present my colleague, Neil Bernstein, that you may confer on him the honorific title, Professor Emeritus of Biology. Dr. Neil Bernstein, for your many scholarly, educational, and leadership contributions to Mount Mercy as a dedicated faculty member and as mentor to faculty, staff, and students alike for 36 years, it is my distinct pleasure to present you with this certificate and to confer upon you a new and honorable title, Professor Emeritus of Biology. Thank you, Neil. John Robeson, would you please join me at the podium? Associate Professor of Mathematics, Dr. John Robeson, began teaching at Mount Mercy in 2002, his second career, after completing his PhD in mathematics from the University of Iowa. John's first career included working for Kiwani Boiler Corporation and Amana Appliances as an engineer for nearly 25 years. During that time, he earned several patents and awards for designing microwave ovens and other cooking products. But teaching has been in John's blood since graduating from Bradley University with a bachelor's in electrical engineering. He was assigned to teach math and physics at the U.S. Navy Nuclear Power Prep School while he was an officer in the U.S. Navy from 1972 to 75. During his tenure at Mount Mercy, John has been dedicated to student learning and working with faculty. He taught math courses and assisted the business department with planning, implementing, and assessing the actuarial science major. John also served as department chair and on numerous key committees. Dedicated to student learning, John has an uncanny ability to answer students' questions about homework and merge current topics with new content, getting students ready for the next assignment before they even realize it. John volunteers on the Corridor STEM initiative and directs activities for the high school math competition and the American math contests for middle and high school math exams. John's a big fan of the Chicago Cubs and the Iowa Hawkeyes and enjoys spending time with his family. He looks forward to spending more time with his wife, Diana, their daughters, and six grandchildren. President Heyman, it is my distinct pleasure to present my colleague, Dr. John Robeson, that you may confer upon him the honorific title, Professor Emeritus of Mathematics. Dr. John Robeson, for your many contributions to Mount Mercy as a dedicated faculty member for 16 years and for bringing your practical experience so adeptly to the classroom, it is my very distinct pleasure to present you with this certificate and to confer on you the new and honorable title, Professor Emeritus of Mathematics. Thank you, John. I'm going to uh, present also to Jan, so I have to move her this way first for just a moment. Dr. Jan Handler has served admirably, first as a faculty member in the Education Department and then as Provost of Mount Mercy University for more than 31 years. Under Jan's leadership, Mount Mercy has strengthened its traditional academic programs and launched numerous new programs, including online bachelor's and master's degree and the university's first ever doctoral programs. She was the first Feld Chair 
and is the author of numerous publications. Jan has encouraged thousands of alums to push their academic limits in education and mentored countless university faculty members in scholarship teaching, advising, and administration. Her calm, steady academic leadership is a shining example of the difference that one person can make in their community by excelling in their chosen field and sharing their gifts and talents with others. Jan simply inspires people and expresses so clearly the difference that they can make in the lives of young people. She has also inspired women to take on the highest level of leadership in the university setting by serving as an active and encouraging role model. Jan will retire this summer after a long and wonderful career in higher education. She has made Mount, Mount Mercy a truly better place and has launched so many teachers into the world of education who have improved and led their schools, making our entire community better. We are privileged to have had Jan with us for 31 years. Jan, for your many contributions to Mount Mercy University as a dedicated faculty member and administrator, mentor, and role model. It is my distinct pleasure to present you with this certificate and to confer upon you the new and honorable title, Professor Emeritus of Education. Thank you, Jan. Now to something a little different. <laughs> now we're ready to honor those who are preparing to add the title master to their resumes. Will the candidates for master's degrees please stand up? On behalf of the faculty of Mount Mercy University, I present the class of 2018 for the distinguished master's degree. These candidates have already received their graduate hoods at a ceremony held on campus Friday evening. Will all the masters? Will all master degree candidates? <laughs> Will all master degree candidates please approach the stage? Rose will be dismissed and you may remain seated until it's your Rose turn. Audience members, please hold your applause until the last graduate has crossed the stage. Nuaf Abdullah right. Amasadi. Bobby Asher. Tyson Benish. Alfred Brooks Borbor. Aaron K. Broik. <laughs> Jeffrey A. Brookins. Lydia Ann Budke. Amanda Marie Gail Bush. Blake A. Campbell. Haley Dawn Canterbury, Strategic Leadership. Richie Amore Cardwell, Nursing. Abigail Lynn Carey, Marriage and Family Therapy.
Bridget Castellaccio, Education. Molly J. Chambers, Marriage and Family Therapy. Barbara E. Schermach, Strategic Leadership. Jamarco R. Clark, Strategic Leadership. Amber J. Cook, Marriage and Family Therapy. Christina Marie Kreis, Criminal Justice. Jeffrey G. Kreis, Criminal Justice. Macy Kayleen DeMilner, Marriage and Family Therapy. Megan Elizabeth Dutko, Business Administration. Joshua Dwayne Elliott Iverson, Strategic Leadership. Peter Jacob Fegley, Strategic Leadership. Mark Thomas Freed, Strategic Leadership. Maria Gran Adijo, Education. Jolene Christine Grissel, Marriage and Family Therapy. Genevieve Lee Hackney, Nursing. Donald E. Hartman, Jr., Business Administration. Ruth Jordan Haas Padaski, Business Administration. Caitlin M. Hudson, Marriage and Family Therapy. Gerald D. Johnson, Business Administration. Bryce David Jungling, Business Administration. Joseph Jordan Joseph Keener, Business Administration. Raven Elizabeth McMurrin, Business Administration. Lubna Mohammed, Strategic Leadership. William J. Monroe, Strategic Leadership. Brianna Carissa Moore, Criminal Justice. Stephanie Ray Moore, Criminal Justice. Benicia Mulekaize Duhi Rahai, Strategic Leadership. Amy L. Newman, Business Administration. Yenlin Nguyen, Business Administration. Patricia C. Oaks, Strategic Leadership. Deborah Lynn Ortiz, Nursing. Christian Menlor Pei, Business Administration. Seth R. Pennock, Business Administration. Mavis Peary, Strategic Leadership. Amanda Jean Petig, Marriage and Family Therapy. Catherine Plinus, Criminal Justice. Kevin Price Majors, Business Administration. Anna Marie Ranbarger, Education.
Brian Thomas Reddington, Education. Sarah Kathleen Reek, Education. Andrew J. Rattler, Business Administration. Deborah D. Ruff, Education. Joelle Joy Schwartz, Education. Allison R. Scott, Strategic Leadership. Janelle Ray Scott, Criminal Justice. Nicole Shaw, Education. Elizabeth Sigsworth, Marriage and Family Therapy. Caleb Edward Simon, Marriage and Family Therapy. Zombo Zabengo Simon, Business Administration. Andrea N. Sinnott, Criminal Justice. Brandon Smalley, Business Administration. Andrea Marie Sokup, Education. Emily Laurel Spate, Education. Brooke L. Spira, Education. Nicole Marie Stern, Education. Anna Marie Stewart, Business Administration. Amber Strang, Education. Mary Marlene Simmons, Education. Lindsay Christine Thomas, Education. Stacy Lynn Thomas, Education. Chelsea Marie Toll, Education. Abigail McLean Turner, Marriage and Family Therapy. Catherine Marie Leigh Walton, Education. Amber Elaine Williams, Education. Lauren Clayton Wood, Marriage and Family Therapy. Ross A. Yast, Business Administration. Rachel Catherine Young, Strategic Leadership. Persia Shani Jafari. Congratulations to the candidates who have earned master's degrees from Mount Mercy University. Would all the candidates earning their master's degrees please stand one more time? Remain standing. <laughs> President Heyman, I present to you the 2018 graduates earning their master's degrees. And this is the moment that you have worked so hard for. 
by the power and authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Mount Mercy University and by the State of Iowa, and in accordance with the recommendation of your faculty, I hereby confer upon you the master's degree with all the rights and privileges appertaining thereunto. Congratulations. You may be seated. And now will all the bachelor degree candidates please stand. On behalf of the faculty of Mount Mercy University, I present the class of 2018 for the baccalaureate degree. Will the bachelor degree candidates please approach the stage. Rolls will be dismissed and you may remain seated until it's your row's turn. Audience members, please hold your applause until the last graduate has crossed the stage. Dustin Amos. Malika T. Anderson. Michaela Dawn Anderson. Andrea Angerer, summa cum laude, honors curriculum. Stephanie Lee Asher, cum laude. Austin J. Ashley, cum laude. Melita Baloche, summa cum laude, honors curriculum. Jemmy Baskerville, magna cum laude. Bailey Beshin. Darren James Bentley. Madison Blitz, magna cum laude. Paul Ryder Bradford. Molly Elizabeth Breitbach, magna cum laude. Allison J. Brodsack, cum laude. Allison A. Brown, magna cum laude. Cheyenne Brown, magna cum laude. Terrence Octavius Brown, Jr. Melissa K. Burgos. Kennedy Marie Bouger, cum laude. Gustavo Ignacio Caballero Ramirez. Wyatt Andrew Cady, cum laude. Catherine Carr, summa cum laude. Kelsey Taylor Carson, cum laude. David Jeremiah Chapman. Vanessa Marie Christensen, summa cum laude. Whitney E. Christensen, summa cum laude. Jennifer Lynn Clark. Rachel Clements.
Madison Coates, summa cum laude. Cody Collender. Emma Jean Crawford, magna cum laude. Jacob Cribbett. John J. Crooks, Sr. Valerie M. Cross. Vance LaRue Culler, summa cum laude. Nicole Dempster, summa cum laude. Kennedy Ray de Vilbus, summa cum laude. Ashley Ann Dolan. Noah Dostal, cum laude. Amy Therese Doyle, summa cum laude. Receiver John Duos. Courtney Joe Earhart. Michael John Eden. Erica L. Ellis. Kendra Evans, cum laude. Annie Ray Feltis, cum laude. Michaela S. Fenton. Fernando Fernandez. Zachary W. Ficken, summa cum laude. Ryan Thomas Flaherty. Josh M. Forscht. Ethan S. Ford. Jen Marie Antoinette Fournier, summa cum laude. Allison Frankenberg, magna cum laude. Alexis Freidenfeld, summa cum laude. Lindsay Marie Gonitz. Christopher Gerke. Deanne Gibbs. Bree Ann Griffith, magna cum laude. Amber D. Grimm, summa cum laude. Julie Ann Guthrie, summa cum laude. Jake W. Haley, cum laude, honors curriculum. David Hansen, cum laude. Derek Morgan Harmon, magna cum laude. Amy Lynn Hassebrook, Hassebrook, summa cum laude. Samantha Jean Hauser. Michelle Victoria Heath, cum laude. 
Allison J. Heitman. Christina L. C. Helbert, magna cum laude. Jacob Thomas Herndon. Bailey Ann Hesseltine, magna cum laude. Ashley Hishtella, cum laude. Hytella. Alyssa Danielle Hilby, cum laude. Ricardo Etienne, summa cum laude. Christian Hint. Jessica Diane Heine. Timothy Joseph Hoffman, Jr., magna cum laude. Heather Renee Horstman. Stephanie Francis Horton, cum laude. Samuel John Hunter. Julia A. Ijaz, magna cum laude. Lindsay Ireland, cum laude. Misong Jin, summa cum laude. Kristen R. Girac, summa cum laude. Sarah Arlene Girac. Shelby Ray Johnson, cum laude. Benjamin Jones. Shanae Jung. Lisa M. Jordan. Jacoby Josiah Julian. Donna Renee Calus, summa cum laude. Marissa Leanne Kaufman, magna cum laude. Tracy Lynn Kilberg. Kate C. Kirk. Brandina Klein. Jamie Ray Kling, cum laude. Chase Jackson Wayne Knapp. Marcy Konigsfeld, cum laude. Cole Michael Keppen. Jacob Connor Kazen. Kanzen. Samantha Joe Kos, cum laude. Paige Kreitner. Nicole Christine Krogman, summa cum laude. Stephanie K. Lane.
Benjamin G. Larson, cum laude. Boris A. Lacona Moreno. Jordan Lynn Lehman, cum laude. Victoria Ann Lay, magna cum laude. Leslie Lashar Lawfer. Santiago Lostal. Natalie C. Luce, cum laude. Madeline Gabrielle Lyons. Connor Martin Mahan, cum laude. DeMarco Lamar Mallet. Brett Anthony Malsum. Elaine Christina Mananen. Paul Andrew Marion, cum laude. Adam E. Mara. Brianna Marie McConnell, magna cum laude. Rebecca J. McConnell. Michael McCrory. Leah Lynn McFarlane, magna cum laude. Amy McGlynn, cum laude. Mercedes May McLean. Juan Mejia. Kimberly Ann Menke. Teresa Michaels. Jennifer L. Middlecoff. Autumn Catherine Meany, cum laude. Heather R. Minert, summa cum laude. J.C. Lynn Mose. Laura Jean Mose. Matthew D. Monthy, magna cum laude. Marissa Moon, summa cum laude. Megan E. Mooney. Henry Benedict Moore. Jordan M. Moore. Bailey Jane Moss, cum laude. Cindy L. Muller, summa cum laude. Margaret M. Murphy, cum laude. Jennifer I. Ruana Shaka, cum laude. Brian Joseph Natter, cum laude. Judith Ndaage. Yeah. 
Bailey Nelson. Lauren M. Ness, summa cum laude. Nicole Diane Nugard, magna cum laude. Stephen Novak, summa cum laude. Andrew Thomas Nowatney. Todd Jeffrey Obertein. Lori Ann Ulrich, cum laude. Morgan Ortman, summa cum laude. Sarah Teresa Ostrander. Riley Jane Owens. Laura Peck, magna cum laude. Kirsten Lee Peterson. Holly C. Phelps, cum laude. Stephanie Pierce. Courtney Ann Petig. Hillary Shaw Pospichel. Molly Kathleen Pruitt. Benjamin Lee Rabi, summa cum laude. Ashley Anna Rayer, magna cum laude. Catherine E. Recker, summa cum laude. Bailey R. Rickles, summa cum laude. Kayla Ridgeway, magna cum laude. Eleanor Riser, magna cum laude. Victoria E. Rowe, summa cum laude, honors curriculum. Adam John Ropke, summa cum laude. Los Rochas, cum laude. Matthew S. Rummery. Bobby Joe Salm, summa cum laude. Callie Amelia Salter, summa cum laude. Lindsay Brooke Savell, cum laude. Aaron Lee Schmidt. Allison Elizabeth Schmidt, magna cum laude. Hannah McCoy Schrader. Melvin R. Scoville, summa cum laude. Mahader Serek Burhan, summa cum laude, honors curriculum. Ahmed Alawali Shalabi. Derek Seidel. Brandon Michael Skaggs. Brock James Scow, magna cum laude. Laura Slavakova, summa cum laude.
Shelby Marie Sorensen. Kelsey Lynn Springer. Caitlin Alyssa, Alyssa Steckman, summa cum laude. Jessica Diane Steen. Monica Rose Stephan, summa cum laude. Abby Steffensmeyer. Jacob Stewart, cum laude. Kennedy N. Stewart. Jordan Stout, magna cum laude. Megan Ann Strobach, magna cum laude. Antoine Martez Strong, Jr. Iris L. Strong. Megan Tobby. Kayla R. Taylor, summa cum laude, honors curriculum. Sarah Lynn Turnis, summa cum laude. Sherry Tyson. John Thomas. McKenna Joe Thompson, magna cum laude. Tyus Anthony Thompson, summa cum laude. Marin Danielle Thurm, summa cum laude. Tanya L. Torado, magna cum laude. Eva Turner, cum laude. Micah Van Dusen, summa cum laude. Rachel Lee Vaughn, magna cum laude, honors curriculum. Wesley William Warwick, cum laude. Maria Yvette Waters, summa cum laude. Jill Weber, cum laude. Alicia Wehag, magna cum laude. Riley Welsh. Danielle Renee Wanger. Zachary Weary. Hannah Grace Whitley, cum laude. JC Weebold. Drew Henry Lee Wertner, cum laude. Julie A. Wise, summa cum laude. Joelle Renee Witte, summa cum laude. Brianna Marie Worrell, cum laude. Alexandria Renee Young, cum laude. Masin Zakaria, cum laude. Bailey Joe Zaruba, cum laude. 
John D. Zabonic Hill. Brandy Lee Zimmerman, summa cum laude. Congratulations to the candidates who have earned bachelor's degrees from Mount Mercy University. Would all the candidates earning their bachelor's degrees please stand one more time? <laughs> President Heyman, I present to you the 2018 graduates earning their bachelor's degrees. Now, here's your big moment. By the power and authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Mount Mercy University in the state of Iowa, and in accordance with the recommendation of your faculty, I hereby confer upon you the baccalaureate degree with all its rights and privileges appertaining thereunto. Congratulations. Now to all of our graduates. Uh, to all of our graduates, bachelors and masters, this is the last instruction you will receive before officially becoming alums of Mount Mercy Universities. And would all the graduates please stand? I invite you to exercise the ancient privilege which you have earned, transferring the scholar's tassel from the right side of your mortarboard to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, faculty and staff, friends and family, I present to this commencement assembly the Mount Mercy University Class of 2018. Congratulations. Now it is my pleasure to introduce to you the president of the Alumni Association, Ms. Peg Detweiler. Peg graduated from Mount Mercy in 1992 with a degree in accounting. She joined the Alumni Board in October 2011 and began her term as president in October 2017. Peg has worked at Words, Drake, and Anderson PC since 2005, and she's also involved in the community through volunteer work with Mercy Medical Centers, especially for U-Race, Revival Theater Company in St. Joe's Church. Peg comes back to the Hill often for sporting events, alumni events, and student mentoring. Her passion for Mount Mercy is evident in her work on the alumni board and beyond. Please help me welcome our alumni board president, Peg Detweiler. Congratulations, new graduates, and welcome to Mount Mercy University Alumni Community. As your first act as alumni, please, of Mount Mercy, would you please rise and join us in singing your alma mater. And would the audience please rise as well. You will find the lyrics on page 22 of the program. Thank you. Thank you.
may be seated. There are a few folks that I'd like to acknowledge before we conclude our ceremony today. To all the members of the commencement committee, thank you for your incredible planning and behind the scenes work in producing this wonderful ceremony and the following celebration, as well as all of the commencement related activities which occurred throughout this past week. Thank you so much. And to the Mount Mercy University choir and band and music faculty, we thank you for your gift of music. Graduates, you know that getting to commencement, as in any aspect of life, it takes a village. Will the friends and family members of today's graduates please stand and be recognized? And graduates, join me in thanking your family and friends for the love and generous support they have provided you over the years. Faculty and staff, would you please rise and face the graduates? When I speak with seniors on the cusp of graduating and when I visit Mount Mercy alumni, they inevitably tell me about their Mount Mercy experience and of the excellent teaching and immense support of our faculty and staff. This is a very special group of people who are incredibly gifted in their fields and are wholly committed to the potential of every student. Graduates and family members, please join me in thanking Mount Mercy's incredible faculty and staff. I hope you see this day as a continuation rather than an end of your learning endeavor. While your schoolwork is done for now, your life's work has just begun. And there's so much to do and learn and accomplish. And if we have succeeded during your time at Mount Mercy, it will be not just in what we have taught you, but in what you have learned about learning. That is, this is just the beginning. Mount Mercy class of 2018, you have touched us, and we are better for the experience of knowing you. I charge you to become people who grow in lives of learning, faith, courage, and compassion. Be inspired to live lives of service and gratitude. Thank you all for the joy you have brought to Mount Mercy and to the community in your time with us. It is wonderful to have you as part of the Mount Mercy family. Please stay connected and come back. Starting with this year's alumni reunion weekend in September, you will always have a home on the hill. God bless you, and God bless Mount Mercy University. And Father Tony will now uh, offer a benediction, and we'll process to the Mount Mercy fight song. Please stand for the benediction. Dear Lord, with this commencement, you set a path before our graduates and indeed before us as an academic institution. Be a rock of safety for them and for us. May your name be a strong tower for us, a place to find comfort and rest, a light to guide and lead. I pray that you bless your people immensely Grant them your protection and grace. Give them health of mind and body, perfect love for one another, and make them always faithful to you. And now may the almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>